So as a Unite member, I expect my union to be at the forefront of challenging bad employer behaviour and not be engaging in bad employer practices itself. It's also no secret that I've been unimpressed by Sharon Graham thus far as the General Secretary, but my opinion has moved from that to one of disgust, actually, and this is one example of why. Brendan Ogle, who you might have seen on the Not the Andrew Marr show, is, if you tune into that, is the Senior Regional Officer of Unite the Union in the Republic of Ireland. He's also the main spokesman and national coordinator of the Right to Water campaign in ERA to bring Irish water, for a long time water quality, supply and sanitation has been a huge issue there, up to proper EU standard. A huge figure in trade unionism in the country and has been for some 26 years. Brendan has been undergoing treatment for cancer for some time, an awful thing for anyone to go through. It's been quite the battle for him. Max Maximum doses of chemo and radiation, the man lost four and a half stone, but he finally returned to work in July of this year, having beaten it, being cleared to do so by the union on a phased initial return. But if he expected to return to his senior union role, he was in for a shock. United attempted to force Brendan into a lesser post. That would have meant a 100 mile daily commute for someone who had just narrowly avoided a terminal cancer diagnosis. He was also told he was no longer involved in the Right to Water campaign, which he had been leading from the beginning, and for which nobody else was qualified to replace him over, leaving it in disarray, including regarding a Unite-funded referendum on public ownership. He has refused the lesser role, leaving him somewhat in limbo. His former responsibility is not getting done, for which he is getting the blame, but he's powerless to do anything about, barred from performing his duties as he is. But why has the union done this? Who are you supposed to go to when your own bad employer is literally a trade union? This is not the posting of just anybody either. This has come from Brendan's wife, herself part of Unite, doing what she's always done, call out bad employer practices. Brendan's story isn't the only one similar that I've heard. Fundamentally, anyone in a leading role who didn't support Sharon Graham for GS has been targeted for removal. I've heard it compared to working for the Mafia. What we're seeing here with Brendan is fire and rehire, and Sharon Graham is overseeing it. Suspensions, pay cuts, sackings. This is not a unique story, and it's time more people spoke out publicly about what is going on in one of the UK's biggest unions, where members, even their own workers, no longer come first.